and welcome back to the live coverage from the Dice Tower Con, where we are now ranked third. What? How do live streaming on the Dice Tower. <laughs> How? There's only one live stream, Daryl, and somehow we're ranked third. You know, I wish I was surprised, but anyway. Let's, let's continue oh, on to guess. Okay. Let's redeem ourselves. We're excited to have Daryl Andrews, designer extraordinaire, to sit in between us, Chaz and I, and show us this delightful looking game that he has before him. But first, Daryl, congratulations on Sagrada. Yes. It's a, it has been a hit, a hit last year. It was nominated for several Dice Tower Awards last night. It's been yeah. nominated for several awards throughout the year. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be a great feeling. Of people just love that game. So. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been really fun. Yeah, uh, Adrian doesn't get my co-designer doesn't get yeah. to go out to the conventions, so I get to enjoy all the <laughs> all the accolades and all the praise. Oh, he's back home, awesome. being like, "Why well, can't I get there?" <laughs> well, we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. That's right. So, what what is next that you have coming up? Here? Absolutely. Well, the exciting thing I brought out. This is the licensed Oregon Trail game. It's coming out at Gen Con. Oh, cool. Oh, so this, it's on its way. This is breaking news because this is the only copy. They just, I, I emailed them a week ago and said, how's that going? And they said, oh, that's going to be out at Gen Con. Do you want to see it? And I said, yeah. And they were like, well, we'll send you a copy of the Dice Tower. And this is the only copy. Wow. Wow. Now, is this so. the DOS-based version? Basically, okay. no. It might actually be a little, a little farther, like oh, maybe okay. the, like N64 version or oh, something. Oh, 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 oh progress. because progress. there's Windows progress. Windows three point one one. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So there were two previous ones released yes. by Pressman. Okay. Yes. And you would have probably seen them at Target. Yes. Uh -huh. we small, did. Yes. small box. Yes. yes. So yeah. the idea was they wanted to make a game that that maybe the gamer crowd would enjoy. There cool. we go. Cause so, so, or the one at Target didn't get a lot of love. May I, may I see the box? I'll, I'll show the box here. Yeah, I know with the Oregon Trail that was at Target, there were a lot of gamers that were like super excited. Like, yep. oh, okay. Yeah, because there's a lot of nostalgia with that yes. game. We were playing yes. the video game. Absolutely, and we yeah. didn't want to lose the nostalgia. Cool. We just thought we would design a game that reaches that crowd. So they, nice. they contacted me and asked like, if I was familiar with Euro games, and I told them I was, and they say, cool, we would like to make a game that gamers would enjoy. And so I got signed on to this a, about a year ago, and it's been kind of top secret. I couldn't tell anyone about it until now. Well, that's wow. exciting then. Cool. Cool. Yeah, because I didn't know about it. Did yeah. you know about it? I didn't. So it was a secret. I know. It now that you can tell people about it, tell us about it. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So I have it set up here. Okay. Uh, it plays two to four players. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I have just a couple wagons out here set up, but the idea here is that you're racing from the east to the west, starting Independence, okay. Missouri, and working your way to Wilmette Valley. And the way I describe it is kind of as if you were uh, familiar with Carcassonne or, or tile okay. laying games. Yes. On your turn, you're going you're gonna to play at least one of your tiles. You'll have tiles equal to the amount of oxen that you have. Uh -huh. And so at the beginning of your turn, you'll discover part of the trail, okay. mm -hmm. foraging the way. As okay. you play them, the rule is that you need at least two tiles yes. in a column, and then you can continue to expand west. Excellent. And so part of that is maybe making paths easy for yourself or difficult for others. Ooh, I'm all about that. So <laughs> as you're forging your way through, you're going to be moving and doing different actions along the way. Some of the actions uh, that you might do is hunting, mm -hmm. where you will hold up a card where you can't see and then assign where you're going to shoot, trying to hit in the forest what oh. you might Oh, that's might a, that's a really clever way to do hunting. Yeah. Right? Oh, neat. So that we're really excited about. And if you get more guns, you can kind of target more areas. OK. So that's a cool mechanic that I haven't seen before that oh, is yeah. really fun yep. and yeah. really interactive, yeah. gets everyone looking and yep. paying attention. Another action that you can do is collect, purchase some items. Okay. Some some of the stuff you might get is like medicine because you may find some calamities along the way. Uh oh. Like dysentery. dysentery. Well, who dysentery. Would thought, who would have thought dysentery would have been an Oregon Trail game? Right. You just answered my first question. Exactly. <laughs> that exactly. was my first question. So thanks for coming down there. I, I, I try to get right to it. So exactly. So everyone's familiar with different things like this, and uh, the twist in here to make it kind of a game of strategy and choices is. Okay. You'll draw your calamity at uh, at the beginning of your turn, and then you have your choice that by the end of the turn, can you deal with it? Oh, okay. Ah, so, right. for instance, in here, a family member of yours will die if you don't find some medicine. Oh, okay. Okay. And so you can work on trying to get that, or you can give up on that. You do have 
four family members in your wagon plus your driver. Okay. And maybe they get left along the route. <laughs> and if they get left, you put their tombstone out wherever they oh, that's may great. have been forgotten. It's a family game. <laughs> you, continue, you continue on your way. Hey. Never to forget. Blazing the Oregon Trail wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Yeah, that's that's wasn't easy. So yeah, so these these are how you track the family member's health. Oh, I like that. Okay. I like how you have your overall goal, but you got something constantly coming up you got to deal yeah, with. Yeah, you got to deal with calamities along the way. You got to try to find some hunting. There's market prices depending on if you're in a town or a village. Oh, neat. And so depending on where you go, you can sell some of those goods because ideally you would love lots of money, but you also need a lot of these items to survive right. as so, you go across east to west. Yeah, so you're blazing your trail, and as you're blazing the trail going across east to west, you're going to be like discovering towns that are there. You got it. Exactly. So here's an example of a town that I preloaded, and it would come with winter clothing and some spare parts, like a wagon wheel, okay. which may be handy for future calamities, yeah. or winter clothing because you may have to go through a winter territory. Oh, okay. And if you go through a winter area, everyone would take a health dip okay. if they don't have winter clothing. Okay, makes sense. Another thing going on is you only have so much space in your wagon. Okay. Oh, yes, and so you got your, the little dash boxes exactly. there. Exactly. So because of those dash boxes, as you're collecting things, and these are a little smaller, so you can fit four of these oh, cool. in a dash box. Cool design. Yeah. And by the end of each turn, you have to feed your family. So you have to spend a cube. If you don't, Thanks, again, Uwe Rosenberg. It's another one. <laughs> feed your family. <laughs> Last but not least, my favorite part mm -hmm. is you can move on roads okay. as much as you want. It doesn't take actions. Oh, okay. However, if you want to cross some rivers, mm -hmm. you can either do it safely, end your turn just slowly crossing that river, or for free, you can for you can push your luck and see how deep that river is uh -huh. <laughs> and okay. roll to see the difference. So for instance, I crossed a six river, but I only rolled a three, so I have three health that I lose. Oh my oh. goodness. Now I can distribute that how I want, but do I play risky and rush through those rivers, uh -huh. or do I take my time and end a turn? You're taking on water. Taking uh, on some water. <laughs> <laughs> so you said those three hit points, you can distribute them evenly if you wanted to, yep. or you can have Uncle Bob. Or maybe hey, this person's guy left. Me but if out. Uncle Bob's left in the river, that opens up a storage spot on the wagon. That's <laughs> true. Hey. We have room for an Uncle, si Uncle Bob sized crate. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a spare part. Perfect. Right there. <laughs> yeah, sure, we lost Bob, but we've got a wagon wheel in this place. Got a wagon wheel. <laughs> yeah, we're <I'm> a... <laughs> there. Right? <laughs> you got it. So that's Oregon Trail. That is and really then, cool. I guess, and then it's a race to the end. And it's a race to the end. So the game's either going to end when all the tiles fill up, okay. or when the first person reaches the end. Okay. There's a penalty for being farther back. Okay. And so there's, a, in in essence, an essence, uh, an incentive to be the first there because you're going to score what, the most what, points. What are some of the different types of calamities that can Absolutely. come up? Absolutely. Let's look. So dysentery, have, dysentery, yeah, dysentery, <laughs> dysentery. You could have some loss, dysentery. Told you. I don't know how much food barrels. You could find good things. Oh, that's, that's good. good. Okay, so they're not all are bad. Not all, all right. bad. You could have some extreme cold. Oh, no. Uh, you could find some winter clothing. Okay, so there is a variety find of Find some good coffee ads. so that that'll help you oh, get more the action. Oh, the first ox. What, what is that, uh, getting more ox? Absolutely. So that's a great question. Ooh. So. One of the choices you can do is you can invest in upgrades. Now you could find an ox yep. and you get it for free. Whenever you have an additional ox, now you have three tiles instead of two. Oh, wow. Oh. So you start booking across the plains. Yeah. yeah. And then the other option is you can upgrade where you can have a wagon extension. Man, and so now you have. You took mine. I was going to ask that one. That's all right. <laughs> Still, Marty, free ox. Free ox. <laughs> I got the just free wandering ox. around. Yeah. <laughs> the, the broken leg. You can have a broken oh, leg. Yeah. You got a little splint on there. <laughs> Again, family game. <laughs> family game. Dysentery, broken legs, Uncle Bob drowning in the river. It's, it's, it's there's thieves. Times. There's, oh, there's thieves? I was wondering if you had to deal with people on the trail, so there it is. Yep. Yep. And it looks like each person has a uh, player board and has a. Uh, I love player boards that will step you through the action exactly. of each yes. round. That's yes. really cool. It gives you a start a turn take three actions and then end a turn uh, resolution and stuff like that. Yep. That is great. And then it just reminds you of like what all the cubes and the prices are yes. on the board oh, yep, and then the end scoring. Yep. Now the hunting, I was going to ask about the hunting. What are some of the rewards and stuff on the hunting cards that we get? Absolutely. So when you go hunting and you assign where in the forest. Hey, you're shooting a squirrel. A squirrel. Oh. At least I get fits to that one. Well, 
You just get a little bit of meat. And there's, no, <laughs> that's <laughs> true. there's not a lot of meat. Have you ever ate squirrel? I haven't yet. Have you ever eaten squirrel? I have not. I have eaten squirrel. Okay. There is not a lot of meat on a squirrel <laughs> leg. I'm just telling you, like. I'm glad our research all right, was that's accurate. It. <laughs> that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you spared no expense on your research. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a little bit more on red. <laughs> oh, oh, give me that. There's a lot on a bison. Oh, right. Yeah, there you go. deer. So, so the there. idea is that depending on the size of animal, you're going to get more or less meat. Okay. The idea here is, though, that all the small animals are threes and fours. The oh, larger ones are farther the out. The more extreme. And so how 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 much are you going to guess going for lots of meat but shooting shooting for less meat? But there's less cards of those as well. Oh, that's, clever. that's it. Yeah, there's there's more, more cards more in the middle. It's it. a bell curve, I bet. It is. Oh, oh, as we, we learned the other day. yesterday. Yes, that's cool. Absolutely. Do you have anything based on Bezier curves? <laughs> we no. learned that too. Yeah. <laughs> nice. no, no, that a, no, that is a really clever hunting system that you Thank have you. built in there. I like that. It's really neat. It's simple and elegant and very different. All right. So you said this is the first. Yeah, uh, this is the first, first one that exists. Copy, that exists. This is the only copy, and I just confirmed this with Robert, but it's going to be in the auction tonight. For oh, the, cool. Hopefully, hopefully raise some money. Oh, yeah, for, that's awesome. The, the and so th copy. this will be at Gen Con in, in whose booth? Yeah, so it's going to be in Goliath slash Pressman. Okay, okay. Uh, they're, I, I think, a first-time booth at Gen Con. Okay, yeah. But Goliath, uh, if you're unfamiliar or anyone who has never heard of Goliath or Pressman, Pressman traditionally is like your checkers and chess yes, yeah, type yeah. sets. Yeah. Color and so, forms and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, very like when you're in Target, you see a lot of Pressman yes, games. Yeah. And so Pressman was purchased by Goliath, and Goliath is like a Hasbro of Europe. I believe okay. they're out in the okay. Netherlands. I could be wrong on that. Okay. But they, they also have an office in Plano, Texas. And so Pressman slash Goliath will have a booth at Genco. Nice. That is nice. Very nice. And what's the MSRP going to be? Uh, I don't know. Don't know. It's I gonna, just found out a week it's ago. Gonna be was, it's going to be a few bills. Three squirrels. <laughs> Three squirrels. Three squirrels. <laughs> Not a lot of meat on squirrels. <laughs> so I don't know if it's worth that. Uh, but so, yeah. So, I guess just keep an eye out. Uh, this will be available, I guess, in just regular... Uh, Online stores and stuff like yeah, that too. Eventually, it, it'll be in Target as well. Oh, it will be in yep. Target. Yeah. Oh, oh, there, there we go. go. I didn't realize that. That's really cool. Yeah, that's that'll nice. be my first game. I think that'll be in Target. That's yeah. exciting yeah, that's, because that's, uh, then I can I'm going to Target and go, hey, I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the bad Oregon Trail. No, the good <laughs> Oregon Trail. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. That's what we're trying to get people to say. Catch up. The good does one. it still have dysentery? Yes, yes, it, it does. does. <laughs> oh, but I'll play it. <laughs> what else do you need? <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you've got a great game for us, but Daryl, we have a game for you. Uh -oh. Yes, we do. We were very, very inspired both by Sagrada, which works with stained glass, okay. and Oregon Trail, which works with dysentery stains, to come up with a game to see if you can guess Stains. Okay. <laughs> Marty, do you want to set up the prints? Can, can you, yes. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you pictures of stains on carpet. Okay. And you must identify what type of stains they are. Wow. There right. are eight different stains on the carpet. Okay. And what we have been doing this week is uh, whenever we play a game like this, if yep. you get a majority of these right, if you get five right, yep. you will win a $25 gift certificate to Cool Stuff Inc. for one of our lucky viewers who tweets us using the hashtag that's over Chaz's head right now. Ta-da! DTCQA. Yes, this we are we are pushing our boundaries today. We are taking we're, we're, we're up to usurping authority, and we are making a third potential $25 gift certificate today. This is our third contest, so we Make are making sure. Cool Stuff Inc. spin the bucks. Yes, <laughs> and as I understand, only half of this one's coming out of my paycheck. So. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Woo. That's not, and the other half's out of mine, All so right. we're good. So. All right, so here we go. So do you understand? We're going to show you a picture, I, and you I tell us what so. type of stain that it is. And of course, you can play along if you're watching. Put in the comments and see if you can get these right. right. Start right. pouring stuff on your own carpets to see if you get a match. Right. <laughs> so, Daryl, right. tell us, name that stain. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he's got dark quick. Uh, <laughs> wow, uh, I'm going to go with... No, wait, think it through. Walk, yeah. through, walk, walk, walk I, through. I, I, let me walk through it. Okay. I, I'm seeing red, deep, rich red, a little liquid kind of consistency. I'm going to go with... Juice. Okay. It, do you, can, 
I, I, we'll have to consult the judges, but do you have a, a specific kind of juice? I would say grape juice. Mm. What about if it was for juice men- that's been around for a while? Sure, maybe fermented, like yeah. wine. Oh, yes, 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 there you yes. go. <laughs> that's it. All you're, right. you're on the right path. There you get, you're there on you the go. right you Oregon trail. Uncle Bob back from the dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, one Uncle more. Bob, you made it. All right, ready for number two? Bring it on. Daryl, name that stain. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of a uh, yellowy <laughs> green. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, now, this game, I think, is going to be exceptionally hard. I think it is fair to perhaps provide a couple well, of hints. Hold on, hold on. He may be on the right path. That's, that's he fine. He may be okay. sniffing this out. All right, all right. I mean, is there any animals that help with these stains? Yes. There may be yes, animals that could be involved. Uh, 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 a pea stain? Yes! <laughs> it's a <laughs> urine stain! <laughs> yeah. Nice! All right, all right. All right. We also <laughs> spared no expense. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we won't tell you which one of us stain that is. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to know. Yeah. My, our apologies to our hotel room cleaning staff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Hey, it's trying to be authentic as uh, possible. All right, number three. Daryl, name that stain. Okay, all right. I, I'm seeing footprints, so I'm thinking dirt stains from footprints. Absolutely, That's yep. absolutely hey, right. Hey, There's hey, three. Hey, all, right. all right, number four, halfway point here. Daryl, name that stain. Ooh. All right, it's looking brownish. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, I'm torn between cola or coffee. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna. You're on the right. I'm gonna go with coffee. That is. You're right. right. Okay. Right. I just want to make sure you verify yeah, that. That's 100% right. That is Ooh. right. Yes. That's cool. Okay, because yeah, that one, that was a tricky one. That yeah. one is a tricky yeah. one because yeah. that could be cold. Or, so you just need one more one to more. win Got somebody. F- one out of four. I'm trying for you. I'm trying for you. Oh, I got okay. one more. Here we go. Daryl, name that stain. Oh, I think I got this. All right. I feel like I know that splat pattern. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've squeezed oh. or shaken oh. and hit that oh. ketchup. No? Not this time, no. Oh, Not no. this time. We're no. sorry. So. This actually is. Unfortunately, this is what happened to Uncle Bob that caused him to have his tombstone <laughs> oh, wow. on. That, are, those, uh, that is blood stains. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. It's like, it was, he said, I recognize those splats. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Really? That's dark. <laughs> yeah. How much research did you do for this, this game? kind of dark. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Still yeah. just need one more. Just Still one need more. one more. Okay. All right. Here we go. Carol, name that stain. All right, I was in the the <laughs> condiment space last time. I'm gonna go with mustard. You, you got are it. Cool. Yes. 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 All right. Yes. All right. All We're right. gonna continue to see if you can finish. I'm going the for high score. Yeah. yeah high right. score. Pressure's right. off. High score. Just you have fun with it. Just have good. fun. Okay. Name that stain. Ooh. This one's a tough one. Yeah. That's yes. Tough. This, this one, one is, is tough. tough. If you need to tilt it up so you can see it better. Oh yeah. If that helps at all. I'm gonna go with. Like an oil or grease? Can a sp- specific kind of oil by perchance? Uh, like an engine oil? Yep, yeah. motor That's oil. It. Motor oil. Motor oil. Motor oil. Motor oil. Right. It is. Okay. Yeah. All right, Ooh, that, that, was, was, that, was, that was one of the toughest ones, I too. Did, I didn't want to say this and put the pressure on myself, but my uncle does carpet cleaning. Are you kidding me? removals. Are you kidding and, me? Oh, so we got and, a ringer. We yeah. didn't even know it. <laughs> and back in high school, I would sometimes have to help him with, oh, with carpet cleaning. It's so. Kismet. There you go. I don't know what that I, means, but okay. <laughs> I was meant to play this game. So All right. That counts as a six. So you got a six right. Okay. Well, we thought six six feet under. <laughs> oh, bravo. <laughs> bravo. I like it when you put fault into the games game like that. The game writes itself. Okay. Here we go. Your last one. And the last one. Here Name we go. that stain. Oh. It's kind of a bluey. You know, oh. that could be a, a, a toothpaste. Maybe that would be my guess. Toothpaste? Yeah, we can see it too. It's actually chewing gum. Oh, we, we, I do yeah. see yeah. dried toothpaste. Yeah, we, we actually, chewing gum. That yeah. makes sense. That's, that's why we threw one. it as the last one. Because, man, this was really hard. That's yeah. tough. But yeah. you got it. You got plenty. You got plenty. You, you got plenty. Right. A, our third Cool Stuff Inc. gift Woo-hoo. certificate today for viewers. So get into Twitter. Get that hashtag going. Tweet us anything, a question, a comment, whatever about Marty, about Chaz, about the games you're seeing, about Dice about Daryl, about Daryl, especially about Daryl and his carpet cleaning prowess. Uh, that's right. In fact, if you want to do that and if you want to tag Daryl, you can do so on Twitter at... Well, so I have two Twitters I don't give a shout Don't out. make this difficult, Daryl. <laughs> I have Daryl. You have one job. I have, uh, well, if Daryl... Cleaning carpet. Daryl M. Andrews, but it looks like Daryl Mandrews. It's the easy way to remember. <laughs> okay. And then Maple Games. Maple Games. Maple right. Games. Who's the head of Maple Games?
four games. And uh, he's, like I said, uh, got a wonderful game coming out uh, soon with Oregon Trail. Obviously, you've got Sagrada, which people are still loving. Yeah. It's yes. been a, a great year for you last year. Hopefully, this will be a great year for you this year. And seeing your game at Target, how cool yeah. is that? Yeah, be? wow. That'll be a big moment. Yeah. yeah. I'll be really excited about that. Make a Target run just for Daryl. Yeah. Please. That's what Take a photo, tag me if you see it out there. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So, don't forget the hashtag. And also coming up in an hour at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to have a nice, uh, oh, let's try that again, Ignacy from Portal Games joining us. Uh, where we're going to be talking about Detective that Chaz and I got to play last night. Yes. Very we'll cool. be doing a special game with Ignacy. Then at 4.30, Jamie Keggy from The Secret Goodball will be joining us for a special Wits and Wagers game where we hope to have some bottles of water around as we're going to be drinking hot sauce. Mm. Going to play Wits and Wagers. The losers must drink hot sauce. Dangerous. Yeah. So, luckily that would be the last segment of the day because we may be hurting afterwards. Yes. So, don't forget... Uh, tweet us using the hashtag and we'll see everyone back here at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Daryl, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yes, absolutely. Anytime. Okay. See you on a bit. <laughs>